Hi, I'm David. Um, I'm Shelly, I'm his wife. <laughs> and we own the Green Vault, which is a legal, recreational, marijuana, cannabis, whatever you want to call it, facility. You know, I'm a very logical, driven person. Things go from here to here. That's how I think, that's how I'm made up. My wife is, uh, she's creative. She can go the same path, but she's gonna go around and around and around and maybe stop for two minutes and then finally get there. But she's very creative, so she thinks out of the box. First thing um, that we're probably gonna do, we're gonna do some crossbreeding. So we're gonna take Dirty Girl and we're gonna take Triple X, which is another strain, and we're gonna crossbreed those and we're gonna call it Pornstar. Then it comes down to people, our employees. Our employees, if you ask them, they're, they're not considered employees, they're family. Um, we're asking a lot of them, we're overworking them, we're underpaying them, um, and, and, and they're running with it. When you have that kind of loyalty and that kind of dedication, there's nothing that can stop you. The basic uh, operational flow chart, obviously my wife and I are the owners. Then underneath us is Kurt Schwinden. You know, there's a lot of experience in this building for gro with growing. Uh, but we are all learning how to grow at this level. And then we have Miss Carol, Grandma Pie. Uh, Green Vault is very different than any job I've ever had. I find it fascinating to be a part of history. Uh, what we're doing right now is so exciting to me. Next we have uh, Aaron Grady. I got into the medical field because I needed to provide medicine for myself after suffering from migraine headaches. So instead of going down to Tacoma and making drug deals at the Kmart to get pot, I decided it was better for me just to grow it at home. After that, we have a couple of our buddies that were been here from the beginning that helped us out. Bruce Olson. I'm kind of David's right hand man. That's kind of how whatever needs he needs done, calls my name and I do it. And then another one is uh, Brent Bonifay. They're teaching me the ways of the weed out here. I'm I'm learning what what's going on. I'm just cogging the wheel, kind of wherever they need me. I think everybody's really happy to be and come to work at the Green Vault every day. Uh, I feel like uh, everybody likes their job. <laughs> so management lately has kind of been hostile, you know, in a sense of, you know, everyone's talking with each other and, you know, everyone has the ideas and you know, I'm here to kick ass and take names and like our head gardener Aaron and stuff. Every time I try to bring these issues up, like I said, they just get kicked in the rug and everyone gets hostile and defensive and so then angry. Saying, I'm a real, I'm a United States Navy veteran. You just cut me off, you fucking prick. See? What the hell is this? I am not, dude, fine. I let you Whoever you are, man, okay. Karen. Shelly, I'm a real human being. You're a real boy. Your thoughts are dependent on what we're doing out there right now. We're playing games with this Yahoo. You know, I have a reputation to keep, and to be forced into a relationship with this guy who's obviously disturbed is beyond my professional capability. Okay. Sorry, Shelly. I love you guys. I just feel like there's, there's at a level of where he's at, but there's also a lot of higher levels of understanding things about operations around here that he's not quite reaching. I come to him in a sense of trying to debate with him about these ideas. So he does not want me to say anything in regards to being over his head, and this is fucking bullshit. You know, you think you're going to come in and okay, this is what we're going to get done, but you have all these different personalities, and it's worse than uh, like a regular job because you know these people that do this are passionate about it. 